So the shooting? Yeah. So, Tell us what happened the day the day of. Dude, I don't like talking about the day of the shooting, man. I don't like bringing it up. That's when everything changed, man. And I, I when people bring it up, it's it's really annoying because I think about it. Now I'm scrounging around looking for trash because that was the last time, you know, it was like every other day I try to skip school, you know, smoke spot pot like I usually did. Then fucking Sammy just starts shooting everybody. Like he was a different person. It was so weird. He was going, uh, dude, I don't even know why we're talking. Why, 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 why is everyone going to bring about it? It doesn't matter. It already happened. Now we're all here. Who gives a fuck, man? We're all here. We're all dying. And then, you know, Sammy just shoots in. I, I hide under the locker. And then I start running. Then I see, I hear something up in the sky. It's like some kind of missile sound, and uh, you know, I heard an explosion. My ears kind of rattled, and I woke up. And I don't know how long it's been. Every day feels the same. I don't know how much time has passed. Days, months. I don't know. I don't even care. And, and the fact that you're asking me this is just like, like I don't know. It all feels like yesterday. Why, why, why do you have to put me through that? Okay, sir, tell us what happened that day. I was in North Hollywood. I was getting my, I was getting my smog check on my uh, 97 Acura. And I knew a guy that could get that taken care of. So I was there. I was waiting for him to do the smog check and... Uh, And then I just hear a boom. And ev the glass around me shattered inside of the, the place I was in. And all I hear is <laughs> just, I've never heard a, an automatic weapon that was this loud. And, um, People are screaming, 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 screaming. Uh, people are bumping, bumping into me, running down the street. I start running. My actor is there. It ha I don't even know where my car is. My grandmother gave me that car. And so I start running. When you hear when you hear gun when you hear just when you hear the sound of guns going off around you, your body react. It's a fight or flight, and all you know is like I gotta get away from the sound of people being shot. I have to find a way. So I jumped into a I jumped into a dumpster. I jumped into a dumpster, probably half a mile away from the smog check spot. I look next to me, there's a, there's a small Korean boy and his mother in the dumpster. She looks at me, she goes, Shh. and we just, we just sat there outside the dumpster. <laughs> This is out of machine guns. People screaming, people running down the sh Okay, sir, now when did you see the explosion? Did you witness the explosion or were you in the dumpster when the explosion happened? I was happened? in the dumpster for probably, you know, until, you know, it was the only safe place that I knew to hide. I, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know where to go. And then probably like, you know, an hour into uh, into us just hiding in this dumpster, people running around. It gets a little, it, it gets quiet. And then... Did you witness the mushroom cloud? I didn't see it, but I felt it. Um, I was just at work and 
just taking calls at my desk, just like any other day. And, uh, and suddenly like I heard something outside and I think it was a giant, I don't know, it was like a giant explosion and uh, people weren't really paying attention to it. Everyone was just kind of on their phones, um, just like writing notes, pretending like nothing was going on. And I kept hearing something and uh, I asked around. I wasn't having a very good day to begin with. Um, hadn't really slept all night, hadn't really eaten. I just went through a breakup. And uh, I, I thought maybe I was just like hearing things. And so um, I'm on the phone with someone, a client. And then I look out and then I hear this noise outside, outside the window. And I just like stop everything I'm doing. Um, I drop the phone and then I walk up to the window and I look outside and suddenly like what I'm hearing is real. Like I actually see things exploding outside and I feel like I'm dreaming or something um, and nobody else is noticing. And so I look out and like these missiles are just like blowing up the, the, the city around me and everything and I see people screaming and I see cars and I just like I hear sirens and um and then suddenly everybody starts to notice and they start screaming and um I run back to my desk and I get under my desk and um I'm just trying to make sure like I run back to go under my desk but I want to make sure people around me are okay because they're screaming and like suddenly like the, the ceiling's caving in and like the lights are flickering and um, I'm hearing like gunshots and I don't know if there's like someone shooting up like the, the building that I'm in or something. I don't know what's going on, but it just feels like, like, <sighs> so I get under the desk and I'm just kind of panicking, but I want to handle the situation well, but I, <sighs> look, I don't know where I am right now. Um, I've been in here for like 24 hours and I really could use some water. Like, can you just, can someone fucking tell me like where the fuck I am? Like, I don't know what this is. Oh, so tell me what happened that day. Man, I couldn't, couldn't hear. All I hear is a big ass boom. I'm high as hell, so, you know, maybe I was just tripping. So, go, go outside. And all I see is some big ass missiles coming out everywhere. Some big ass Chinese man pointing at everybody. That's all I see. I'm just trying to go home. Oh, uh, so tell me what you seen that day. Uh, I was, I I was about to get a pack of smokes, and I uh, I I saw a flash of light. And there was a uh, gunfire going on. Uh, the van that had picked me up, or I jumped in, was oh, the doors were open. I jumped in the van, and I woke up here. What what the hell's going on? You got a smoke? What color was the uh the the cloud? Did you see a cloud formation? It was a it was a white cloud. Were you um, affected by a mushroom? Um, I, I, I don't feel any effects, but uh, I, I don't know where I am, and I. Well, well. Send in a paramedic. We got a live one here. Okay, so tell us what happened that day. Okay, so I'm at my art gallery having a show that I was so excited about after having been inside for so many months wanting to show in person and all of a sudden these guys dressed in all black just start shooting people and then just out of nowhere this explosion happens outside and I don't know what is going on I go to run and grab my adorable dog that is so precious to me who is just just 
um, really terrified at this moment as well. And then you just see all of these lights flashing and with the after the boom, and then you feel the ground rumble like an earthquake, uh, and then smoke everywhere, and and then a a a white van pulls up with these, and these guys get out, and they're all dressed in white, and they grab me, and then I'm here. What is going on? Can somebody tell me what's going on? I just want to go home, and why am I wearing this? What is this? What is going on? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, calm down. And where is my dog? Okay, so tell us about that day. <laughs> don't really want to hear about it. I, I don't know. I don't know if my perspective matters here. I'm, I mean, who am I? Right? I'm, I'm a slave to the man. I'm stuck in this everyday world, nine to five, white collar bullshit. Got a girl, sure. I don't know if she appreciates me. But I try. Most of the time. At least that's what I thought. Uh, rough morning, you know. Barely get out of bed because I'm barely sleeping due to a midnight conversation with her about, mm, did we leave the lights on in the kitchen? Is that wasting electricity? I don't know. Who's worrying about it? The guy that has to pay it. So I stumble out. I get on my way. I get me a, a, a McMuffin. Motherfuckers gave me a sausage biscuit instead. The fucking nerve. And whatever, you know, I make it to work, and I just hate it there. I hate it there not because of what I have to do, and not because of who I have to do it for. I hate it there because it makes me do it less for me. It makes me do it more for the idea of surviving. When did that become a thing? We live in a first world country, right? America, land of the free, home of the brave. Tomb of the dead. I don't know. It just feels real bleak to me. That's all I'm saying. Drop on top of that, it's a Friday, so by the time I do get out, an hour and a half late, no matter. Everybody's in a fucking good mood. Everybody I see. Everybody walking down the street. The fucking mailman, the fucking bartender, the fucking family with the fucking kid and the fucking baby and the fucking mom and the fucking dad and the fucking granddad and the fucking grandma on Skype, no less. Why the hell is everybody so happy? Ear to ear, cheers. <laughs> I am so happy. Nothing could ever happen to me. Happy happen. That's exactly what's supposed to be. Happy is just a devolved form of shit yet to come. So don't be giving me this crap like, oh, I'm happy-go-lucky, and therefore nothing's gonna hurt me. Because guess what? If I can have a bad day, huh, they're gonna have a bad life. Case in point, I enter my car and start driving. I'm thinking about how the hell is it that I'm gonna quit my job, leave my home, ditch the broad, and just, you know, play music in Texas. That's what I want to do. That's what I was meant to do. This crap. I don't know what it is, but somebody up there must answer my prayers. Because next thing you know, <laughs> the sky started to bleed clouds. But not like those fluffy marshmallow Pillsbury doughboy clouds. I'm talking about motherfucking dark, looming, ominous clouds. Steel wool, really, but gigantic. These, these, these projectiles, these rockets, these missiles. Are we calling them that yet? Is this what we do now so early? Is it too soon? They made it sound like God was scratching his fingers across the skyscape. Like it was just. <sighs> If God was fucking the earth, Mother Nature just taking it behind. 
And you know, I, I, I get distracted by landscapes so easily. So what happens, of course, motherfucking my car gets ran over by a truck. By a truck and by a hair, I barely got out alive. My ride's total. I have to walk 10 miles home at this point, the story. But I feel happy. Because now, everybody else has seen what happens when you get too complacent, when you get too happy, when you just think you're the best. Newsflash, if this happened to us now, no one's meant to be anything but the worst.